So, brother, okay. you are the master. First of all, you're a hell of a receiver. But you are the master when it comes to the toe drag swag. Yeah. Give Nate Burleson his credit. Shout out Nate Burleson because yes. that's his uh, moniker, toe drag yes, swag. Yes, yes. And so walk us into the mindset of an offense when they're in the red zone. We're in the red zone. We're on the five-yard line. 12 personnel. Tell me what the offense is thinking right here. And what are you thinking when you hear that, oh, they calling my number to execute this touchdown? Yeah, well, I mean, the biggest thing is we're talking about what's the down and distance, if it's first down, second or third. And for us, if we're not able to run the ball, then we want to be able to find some of our best monumental plays uh, right here. I mean, honestly, we've ran this play um, a numerous amount of times. And it's not only me getting the ball, but anybody's available to be able to get it. So uh, let me stop you right there. Why would an offense <laughs> like, hey, Noah, start from here and go from the right to the left? Why yeah. would Noah just line up to the left? Uh, sometimes what we call it is you go to school. So you go to school and you want to be able to figure out if it's man or zone. Sometimes, mm. you know, sometimes like a linebacker or a safety, if they run across, then you know like, okay, they got them in man. If you see the defense end up shifting and one person goes to the right, the other person jumps over, yep. then you already know that it's a zone coverage too. Okay. But with Noah running across, we already know his zone. so Because nobody goes with him. Nobody no, goes with him. So we can either um, go to a different play or we can be able to run the same play if we feel comfortable running it. We ended up staying on. And at this mm -hmm. point, you got defenders whose eyes are either on the quarterbacks or trying to figure out the pattern reads and they just got lost. I got lost in the mix. Okay. Right now, before the ball is snapped, <clears throat> where are your eyes at when the ball is snapped? Uh, well, I mean, besides me watching the ball, I'm looking at safeties, linebackers, and then I'm looking at number 24, mm -hmm. uh, this cornerback, trying to figure out if he's going to run across the field with me or if he's just going to sit back and play his own. Once I feel like he's playing his own, then my eyes go to the – the safety, trying to figure out, is the safety going to be running with me or not? If he's mm -hmm. not running with me, then I already know that the person that I have to beat is either the other safety or the other corner. But once, if you keep it going, mm -hmm. you can be able to see that the corner sees Noah. Boom. If that corner doesn't take Noah and he takes me, Noah's open for the touchdown. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, all right. I'm only, I'm going to speak from the fan's perspective, and since I got both an offensive person and a defensive person here, you guys can help me out with something. Now, everything that you just said, Tyler, I understand. And you just said that if the linebacker, uh, if he sits there basically in zone, stop right there. KJ, mm -hmm. you're a linebacker. You were a linebacker right here. What happens right here? What is supposed to happen? Because Tyler comes across the middle right there. What should that linebacker do? So first of all, when you're in zone coverage in the field and when you're in zone coverage in the red zone, it's two different types of zone coverages. When you're in the red zone, it is matchup. Matchup right here, right now. If a guy in my vicinity, I got to take this guy and I got to buy this guy. If we're out in the field, we can zone. I could QB key, pass guys off. Right now, if I don't latch on to Tyler, this will be the result. It will be a touchdown. So his eyes are still on Geno, and he should have automatically took his eyes off Geno and went right to Tyler? This is not the type of party. Your eyes need to be on who's coming in my area. So if I see a Tyler and I see him coming, latch on to him. Like, you're not going anywhere. You are my man. If, I can, if I'm in the field, hey, pass off. Hey, here he comes, here he comes. You got to match up when you're in the red zone. And so when you keep when you keep the play going, we call this on defense a big wheel. What do you what do y'all call this concept on offense when you get past this defender and you go back to the in the back of the end zone? Well, I mean, when you're we're talking about throwing it to the back pile line, I mean, uh Gino has many different ways to be able to throw it. He could have threw me on to the NFL logo if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it just kind of depends because the linebackers always keying in on Gino. Gino knows that there's nobody back there to be able to throw me that ball. Mm -hmm. So it's either a, a me catching the ball or no one catches the ball. So that's kind of like how we put it. We have different spots and areas that we throw to mm -hmm. when it comes to the red zone. But, you know, the other thing, too, is if you go back, you're looking at Gino and you bring up a good point. If that linebacker ends up looking at me and taking me, you see what Homer does. He grabs both of them. Ooh. If Gino wanted to step up and run, he steps up and runs for the touchdown. Ooh. So either way, okay. I mean, it's it doesn't really matter yeah. what happens. If if Gino decides to step up in the pocket, he just keeps backing up, backing up, waiting because he knows I'm coming across. 
But if he steps up, that linebacker takes me. Gino just has to beat that middle linebacker that's right there, like mm -hmm. Pancake and Homer, to be able to beat him to the end zone. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. so Tyler, I want to ask you this because you made you said something a second ago. You said Gino could have thrown it towards the NFL, but he throws it towards the back of the end zone. How do you know where he's gonna throw it? I mean, it depends on how it looks whenever we practice it. You know, every time you get ready to go against a certain team, every team plays red zone defense differently. So there's times where he might have to be able to throw a bullet pass to be able to get it there. There's times where he might be able to lob the ball up and get it there, but it's all kind of depending on how the defense plays. Mm -hmm. And, bro, you have mastered this toe drag. How do you know when it's time for me to catch the ball, but I have this limited space where I got to drag my feet? Because if I don't drag my feet, get both toes in, it will be an incomplete pass. How do you know when you're in that position on the football field? Uh, some of it is awareness, bro. Like, I've played punt return. I played kick return. So when the ball is up in the air and they tell you at kickoff return, don't bring it out if it's past, you know, five yards deep. You got to be able to have an idea in your head where you are in the end zone before you catch it. So mm -hmm. that way you know, all right, I catch it, I take a knee, or I can be able to catch it on a run and bring it out. Mm -hmm. When you have people punting you the ball and you have people that's running, you know, full speed trying to be able to hit you, you got to be able to look up but also look down, kind of have a feel yep. on time and if you should fair catch it or if you have time to be able to catch it and run. So it's the same thing with me being able to run across. So even though I see the ball up in the air, I have, like, awareness around me kind of like how close I am, all that different type of stuff. But it also comes with practice. Like there's times I might run a deep cross or a curl, more so mm -hmm. not a curl, but like a comeback, and you're just practicing naturally, just catching it, dragging your toe, even when you're not even close to out of bounds. Yeah. So here we go right here. It's teach tape. This is teach tape. You right here, you running, balls in the air, you got the awareness. And right now, talk to me. At that moment, you just got to get both feet in. <laughs> Simple as that. It's either go back to the huddle and we get a field goal, <laughs> field goal. Or, you know, you guys did all that work. And sometimes you just got to be able to practice those catches because those catches ain't easy, especially trying to be able to put your foot in. But just being able, once you know that you drag that foot, then you just got to be able to make sure that you, you know, embrace it as you go to the ground.